The time is 6:12. Let's take a look at what's happening across the region this morning. Students in the Columbus City Schools District began the school year remotely as teachers walk the picket lines for the third straight day. While students navigate online learning just like they did during the pandemic, the Columbus Board of Education and the Columbus Education Association met yesterday. The district's final offer included an increase in pay and a promise to fix problematic conditions inside the district's buildings. But the union wants specific contract language that will guarantee when and how the district will fix those issues. Until a new contract is agreed to, students will learn remotely through a plan laid out by the district earlier this month. The U.S. Attorney's Office and the Morgantown Police Department are warning people ages 18 to 45 of a new illegal drug trend making its rounds on social media. Officers recently seized nearly a pound of the rainbow-colored drug this week, a fentanyl-laced pill that hadn't been discovered in Morgantown until now. The U.S. Attorney's Office says the investigation into this drug bust for the fentanyl is still ongoing, and they plan to announce those charges soon. Kroger has been added to the list for the opioid litigation lawsuit. The retailer was added to other companies who are being sued for the role they've played in the opioid crisis that has continued to be a major issue in the Mountain State. Attorney General Patrick Morsi has addressed the public that he has been working hard to obtain legal documents from these companies for this lawsuit and takes the situation very seriously. Companies included in this litigation are Walmart, CBS, and Walgreens. Their trial is set for September 26th of 2022.